In this video, we're going to talk about activity intelligence and really the basics of what smoke ball or what activity the smoke ball is tracking in each individual matter. Activity intelligence is a very powerful business analytical tool, whether you're looking to see what your matter profitability is, making sure you're billing for enough time, or really just understanding is if somebody's doing a lot of work, they're overworked, etc. So what I'm going to do in this case, I have a matter open, and this is just a civil dispute for this example of this video. I'm going to come over to my activity tab. What I'm going to notice at this point, I'm going to see all the different activities I've completed on this specific matter. On the left hand side you can see the staff member. I can always toggle between the two different either all staff or maybe any other staff members I might have here. And what smoke balls are actually tracking in terms of activities is when I open the matter, when I have a calendar event. So specifically the time it's going to track is if I have a 30 minute event in my calendar it's going to put a 30 minute event. If I put an hour event it's going to put an hour event. Tasks are a little bit different, meaning that if I specify a specific duration when creating a task, it will go ahead and put that duration. Otherwise, I would have to manually go in here and put a task. To manually change any of the times you might see on here, what you all you would have to do is come in here and, and double click into that specific area, and maybe I want to say this was 12 minutes or this was 10 minutes. But you can set a task even within a workflow to default that say every time I do this, say it's going to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or however you want to do that. The way documents work, it's tracking your active time creating the document. And what I mean by creating the document is you're creating an out of smoke ball, whether it's a blank letter, a caption, maybe something from our forms and templates library. And if for some reason you would open up that specific file, start working in it, and then take a phone call and step away, and you're not actively working in it for about 30 seconds, that timer is going to shut off. So what you'll notice is on everything here on the right-hand side for some of these documents, it's showing you my real time spent. So some of these are simple, like a simple edit to a letter, as well as even just creating this letter. You can see I spent almost seven minutes on it. If you're not seeing the time spent, just right click the show time spent to see the actual time and now it's rounding everything up here. The way emails work, it's going to work by grouping them together and each email is going to be one minute and it's also going to track real time and it tracks when you either send or receive an email or if you're reviewing that email. So make sure if you have an email that you're tagging it and getting it into Smokeball because then we can track the real time you spent on there. I'm going to scroll down here. I think I have one that has multiple emails. So you can see today I had seven emails sent or received. I spent 24 minutes real on it. But the reason why it says 36 minutes on here because I manually came in here and I can always change the specific time I spent on this. Memos work very similar to tasks, so when I create a memo, I could say this memo took me 30 minutes to draft, or maybe these notes took me 30 minutes, or I can manually come over here and enter the time. And Smokeball even tracks even matter administration. What would be my matter administration is you're coming in here reviewing information. Maybe you're changing information. You can see this entry right here says I spent about 45 minutes. So it rounded up to 47 minutes in terms of the duration that I would spend more for like a bill. What this does in this powerful tool is the more you do in Smokeball, the better the reporting is and it can get down to the point of show you how much time or based on your activity, what's my profitability on a matter. It's also very helpful for billing. We've had clients say they're billing 10, 20, 30 percent more because they're capturing more activity in Smokeball that they were missing before using it.